What's up guys, Jared back. So we've got the Galaxy Note 3 here, and this is a carrier version Galaxy Note 3, more specifically uh, from Bell Mobility Canada. Now, if you've purchased your Galaxy Note 3 from a carrier, uh, chances are it comes with a lot of bloatware, as they like to call it, value-added services. Now, I've already gone and taken it upon myself to remove a couple just to make sure this is in fact going to work, or at least titanium backup in this case, which, what, uh, which is what we're going to be using, does work. Because um, with every Android version update, um, sometimes... It, applications need to be updated. Now, if you go on the Play Store and you type in bloatware remover, you're going to find a lot of different applications, but I don't trust the majority of them. Um, if you want to get a application that you can trust and is used for many different purposes, uh, I recommend you go with Titanium Backup. And that's what we're going to show you how to do it uh, this time. So we're going to show you how to remove um, system applications and carrier bloatware uh, from your device with Titanium Backup. So once you have it downloaded, there's a free version and a paid version. The paid version obviously gives you uh, considerably more features. Um, anyways, so we're going to show you how to do this. So go ahead and as you can see, open up, download and open up the application. Uh, this little box top right hand corner tick that we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and we're going to you'll notice that we've got uninstall uninstall backup user app applications uh, uninstall non backed up user apps uninstall all user apps and uninstall all user and system apps and that's what we're going to be doing now alternatively if you didn't want to delete some of these applications because you were afraid it might affect your system later on you could always scroll up a little bit to where it says freeze and or defrost so you can always just freeze those applications if you wanted to uh, you know, we can go in there, you'll see all the different applications, system apps and user downloaded applications in here, all with check marks. Um, I would deselect all of them because if you were to have all of them selected and press the check button, that would perform the operation and everything would be frozen. Um, so, but by freezing them, you're basically hiding it from the phone itself. You won't see it in the application drawer um, and the system itself just will not see that application. Um, in my instance, I want these applications just removed. Now, if you don't, if you're unaware or afraid of of what might happen if you remove an application, it's best to use the freezing method. But I like to remove them. So uh, with that said, we're gonna go down here to um, the actual removal. Uh, tool here and I'm going to click on deselect all. Now um, there might be some applications in here that you want to keep but we're going to go and I'm going to show you some applications that I don't want such as some from Samsung and some from Bell and I'm actually going to go all the way to the bottom because I believe that's where I found some of them. Um, and you want to be careful when you're choosing some of these because some of these you really shouldn't be removing. Uh, look at this Yahoo Finance. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Uh, let's go ahead and find some others now. Um, hmm. TripAdvisor, that's something I don't need. Samsung Hub Updater, I don't need that either. I don't need S Health. I don't need Polar Polaris Office. I definitely don't need Mobile TV from Bell. I don't need HP Print Services. I don't need Flipboard. I don't actually use Evernote, so I don't need that either. Don't need Chat On. Definitely don't need Bloomberg. And I definitely don't need 100% HD games. Alrighty, so now that we've got all those selected, we're gonna go ahead and click the check mark button. We'll wait for it to start uninstalling all these applications. Alrighty, and the process is now complete. So to double check that, what we're actually gonna do is, I'm gonna show you something interesting here. So we'll go back to the main screen here and into our application drawer. And as we go along, you'll actually see the icon application is still in here. But if I was to, as an example, click on one of them, if I can find, it almost looks like maybe it did actually remove the application uh, icon, uh, I think. Yep, so it's actually removed the application icon. Uh, earlier today when I removed them, the application icon stayed there until I rebooted the phone. So now what we can do is jump into our settings and head on down to storage. And although I made a huge mistake by not showing you guys what how much storage I had before in the video, um, actually it was at 18 gigabytes, and now you can see I now have 18.3 gigabytes free. So obviously those applications didn't exact weren't exactly large file sizes, but it did end up giving me back some of my. Um, uh, internal storage as well as those applications will no longer be trying to update themselves um, or trying to pull data from your Wi-Fi or um, or your data connection um, and that's basically it anyways guys if you do have any issues when you go into your application drawer and you find um, any icons are still left over just reboot your phone and when you reboot your uh, when you reboot your phone you'll notice not only the application is gone um, but your storage will have been uh, gained a little bit uh, anyways, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you liked the video, click the likes button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos. And that's it until we see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.